was something, wasn't it? Those of us who are really into Game of Thrones talk about it often. My God, some of the stuff they pulled. I guess I'm just gonna miss my friends. What are you doing with that, sir? My, Go look on. how young they were. Young and alive. And so very innocent. The face of hope. She wouldn't harm a fly. Season two. Well, eh, hmm. season three. A season that can only be remembered for three things. The Red Wedding. Red Wedding Reactions. And Red Wedding Reaction Reactions. Season four gave us the Purple Wedding. Never have I so celebrated the death of a child. Now, my I didn't think much of Tyrion Lannister when he first showed up at the Red Keep. But he managed to escape with nothing but a crossbow, leaving his dead father on the sh**, before he'd even given it a flush. Sometimes, in the summer of 2015, it made me sad, though. Jon Snow being dead. But then I had to remind myself that the Red Woman was at Castle Black, and that some Jon Snows just aren't meant to be dead. Season 6 was great for a number of reasons. This bit just really got me. Hold the door. Hold the door. Andy Dufresne. Well, the Battle of the Bastards. Nothing more satisfying than seeing Ramsey Bolton get what was coming to him. At season 7, I remember thinking it would take a man 600 years to tunnel through that wall. But the Night King did it in less than six seconds with that goddamn dragon. You're gonna need more than a pinup poster to cover that hole in the wall. Oh, in the final season. Starting like a episode of Jerry Springer. Jon Snow getting this live paternity test. And then it all just kicked off. The Battle of Winterfell. Came down to a simple choice, really. You're busy living. Or get busy dying. It's fair to say the bits I could see blew my mind. The Night King got killed by no one. And no one managed to jump 500 yards. That's the length of five football fields. Just shy of half a mile. Wish you killed off that little creepy raven boy, though. But you can't always get what you want in life. Remember that sweet, innocent face of hope. Well, Hope is a dangerous thing. Everybody thought she'd show mercy. But some dragons just aren't meant to be caged. And finally, she was his lover, his queen, his auntie. And he killed that bitch before her ass even touched the throne. After all this time, we finally got to see who... You gotta be shitting me. No wonder he was sad, looking so smug all the time. The new king's expression matched all of ours. And as we forget, those we lost along the way. Henry VIII, Callum Drogo, Sean Bean, Jamie Lannister's hand, the bodyguard, Jon Snow's stepmom, but not really, this guy, possibly the stupidest man who ever lived. And lots more. It was mostly really great. I hope the spin-offs will be just as good. I hope.